Shakespeare said, there is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, all the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat, and we must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. Thank you in advance for voting me mayor. God bless. <laughs> Everybody's hand seems to be tied. Our politicians seem to be afraid. I would like to express my appreciation for the Marijuana Compassion Club up in smoke. But you'd have to understand that we believe it's God's tree of life from the Garden of Eden. You get a new trial. A sanity applies. I Throughout. understand. <laughs> I didn't have a beard then, eh? <laughs> you didn't. You didn't have a beard until after you left us, and you went on your own. <laughs> My former wife took very good care of him. Well, I couldn't keep after him because I was away all the time. Well, I says, you can come and work with me out in the field and see how you can get along out there, and if you do all right, hmm. he picks it up very quick. Then he got on the float. I brought a brand new float, and then he was on the float. Hauled his machines around. He, he started when he was about 18, and then he... Well, 16, I quit school, and that summer I never went back. And uh, Opportunity, eh? This guy, he had a lot of education, a lot of, not school education, but know how to meet people, know how to get around, and get things done, and, and, and move equipment, and move this. I never, I never got, a, never went one, one, one time to, he did it all on his own. Well, I do now though, but it's paper I move. It's the same, it's like pushing dirt. <laughs> he could be back running machinery like he was running it. And he could be working on the jobs and he could be making big money. See, he got mixed up with this water and I, I'm not too happy about that, to be honest with you. But what can I do? What I, I, my dad doesn't like is like, you know, it's the name, it's a family name, and it's not his fight, and it's not his religion. He's got his own faith, which I, I respect, and he's never stepped on mine. Mm -hmm. uh, you, were brought up, you were brought up as a Catholic? Yeah, I'm still a Catholic. <laughs> yeah, but... I'm not yeah, Roman. Yeah, I'm just praying that you get back to church again. Well, well I'm a minister <laughs> in a church, but... <laughs> there we go with the old argument of whose church is which the one, eh? But, I'm standing here, standing on my legs, so what's the point of this song? I, I have nothing against marijuana. I don't know anything about it. So well, I don't got nothing against it. I can't, I can't go and argue it. If it's harmful, it's not harmful, whatever. They've it proven it isn't. Judge McCart looked at it for six months in London, the Superior Court of Justice. And he's an older man, Judge McCart, and he says it's less harmful than alcohol and tobacco. There was so much trouble with it. Well, uh, fighting with the police, fighting with the this and fighting with that, you know. I said, why don't they legalize it and get it over with? Mm. You know, and, and forget about it, because you know why? I'll tell you why, the government can't get no, collect no taxes off it. That's the trouble. If they could collect taxes like they collect taxes off of tobacco, then they would, wouldn't legalize it. Mm. But they can't do it. 
Because you can grow it, I can grow it, anybody can grow it. They can't tax it, it bothers them, they can't get money. Well, the Bible says the tree of life will be given freely. Now, if marijuana is the tree that we can make clothes with and use as medicine, and its leaf is for the healing of the nations, and people that smoke it, they don't fight. So, if that's one of the, even the trees of life, because every plant is a tree that gives life because it gives oxygen. Mm -hmm. But that one in particular is more giving than any other plant on the planet. And it is given freely, and that's what bugs them. You can grow mm -hmm. it in your backyard, you can grow it in your basement, right? And they'll never see anything from it, as long as you do the work. At the same time, some people will buy it. So what's their problem? There will always be people that don't have a green thumb. The tree of life, I know that's a good excuse, but that's not the way I look at things, you know. I'm, uh, I don't look at it that way. Mm -hmm. And we, in our church, they never, they never talk about that stuff, you know, any of that stuff in the Catholic Church. Just a little different here and a little different there. At the end of the day, it's how you lived your life that calm today, Dad. That's what Jesus said. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. That's it. That's the meaning of the Law and the Prophets. And that's in the Bible. In the same Bible we all read. Mm. But he got on another track. He, he went the other way. Mm. Well, just another church. <laughs> I had to start a church. <laughs> but I'm still Catholic. I'm just not a Roman Catholic. I keep praying that he would get back to his church and get away from all that stuff and get back into life again. Mm. And that's that's my prayer to him. And I said every night morning when I finish up my starting my day, I always think about him. I said, "That's the good Lord to help me to get him back to straight on the narrow path again." Everyone is searching for a dream that will come true. I found my tomorrow when I found you. And everyone is looking for. A way to make their mark When you're here with me I can see right through the dark I'm never gonna bear I'm never gonna break I'm never gonna trade away today For tomorrow I'm... My father built the Kenilworth Cup My father built the West Campus in McMaster University I helped him We built a lot of this city how to rebuild the coke ovens? How are they working? Yeah. Shut Shut it down. On the bird. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to be the leader. I've been running for six times. I don't know if I'm going to run four years is a long way. And quite frankly, I'm tired of running. It's time that I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well, yeah. I'll get three other votes over. Oh, yeah. I always want to get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I have nothing more to say. I, I'd like to hear from you guys. So, God bless. Thank you. people together uh, to ensure that, uh, that where there are difficulties, whatever we can do to bring people together to resolve them, uh, I think is something that we ought to do. We in Stalco took pensions in lieu of wages. That's what I did. What's our sign here said? Whose city? Our city. And that's right, as steel workers, we claim this city. Because we built it, we worked for it, we believe in our hall, we put our signs up with conviction, and you guys are getting here, stand up for our convictions. Thank you. I have a guard at my door. Like when I said you can beat me, I mean it. I live on these streets. I walk through the malls. You'll see me. If you're not happy, I'm in trouble. I don't run that fast, eh? They lost 13,000 jobs according to Stats Canada, which measures the actual job loss in Hamilton, not in Burlington, Hamilton, Grimsby, but in Hamilton alone. We need to uh, start curbing our urban sprawl, and it's a very significant issue. How many of you kids have played SimCity? 
And when you play Sim City and you start growing from the outside and you work inside, what happens? Your, your, your dollar amount goes very, very high, correct? So we want to turn that around. We want to do it a different way. We want to grow our city from the inside out and make sure that all of our costs are reasonable and affordable so that as we grow, we can afford the infrastructure that we're building. Do you support the Mid Peninsula Highway? Uh, the, the, the road is intended to be a truck route that moves goods between the United States and this area of, of our country. I, I support the planning process. There needs to be a, a full environmental assessment of the road, Sean. I think it's critically important that we look at alternatives before we commit to uh, a road into the future. It's just like uh, the expressway that they're putting through the Red Hill Creek. I fought against that where I at least uh, I've been watching that since I was running in 1984 and never did have any say, nobody did ask me, and they put it in no matter what. And it's too late to start hugging trees when the bulldozers are bulldozing them, <laughs> if you get hurt. Many people spray their lawns with pesticides when these pesticides hurt us all. Would you ban pesticides from people's lawns? Well, I would, uh, I would certainly work towards uh, banning cosmetic pesticides. Um, you know, we, uh, I, I think it's pretty clear that there is harm associated with that. Uh, it ends up not only on the grass, but ultimately in our water system. Council is looking at doing that right now and finding more green ways or more of, uh, environmentally friendly ways of greening our, our environment. I think Larry would agree with me that when we were kids, when you needed fertilizer, you just walked out into the street and there was a horse pulling a milk cart and there was your fertilizer. <laughs> Maybe we should turn the clock back a little bit. There used to be chickens in backyards. People didn't have to depend on the government. We have all kinds of bylaws for all kinds of reasons. What's really destroying the world is automobiles. We have to turn the clock back in our heads too because the world is like a, 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 if you leave your car running in the garage, you know, it takes a half an hour and you're dead. The world's like an, a parking garage. There's only so much oxygen and you can only leave so many cars running. Section three of the charter says everyone can vote, everyone. There's no discrimination by reason of age. So, can you tell me why you can't vote? <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> That's why I'm running for mayor. I would start here. Then the government would start paying attention to children, not just talking about us. Thank you, guys. We all figure it's going to be Larry, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Larry's second right now to Eisenberg. Okay, um, Have you heard Larry of spent two hundred thousand dollars. One seventy-seven king. Yeah, yeah it's all Walter. Okay, one seventy-seven king. You want to drop in on Judy's? Yeah, that would be nice. Thank you, brother. Well, they got to start doing what they do in Australia. Find people that don't vote. Either that, or give I'm them $10 sure. to leave the, leave the No, we got, that's what we got to start doing. If you're, you can't be that apathetic. If you want to keep a democracy, guess what? 
Yep. And that's what Australia does. A hundred dollars fine per person that doesn't vote. And for they come to you and they say, Daddy, I want to vote. Okay. Yeah. Who do you want to vote for? You take the kid down and let him vote. And then by the time he gets to be 17, 18, he's ready for it. Stay with us for more results as they come in. The Baptist said to us, what about proselytizing? You know, going out and uh, telling people to join your church. And we said, no, no, we don't, sheep, we don't steal sheep. And the Catholic said, what about your sacrament? And we said, it's our sacrament. And that's what the end of it. They said, okay, you're a church. They had a, 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 a big square table and there were ministers and representatives of all the churches sitting all the way around it. And you were in, you were in there and they could ask you any question they wanted because they were, they were just wanting to see if you were one of them. Hmm. It was like the um, Ecclesiastical Council of, of, of Ontario. Nothing like uh, Mr. Bertina is your counselor, and we request and ask their support in what goes. Okay. Um, in the community as well. And I want to thank each and every one here for your love, your support, and your hard work. And we'll do it again. Okay. We love you. <laughs> My doors are always open, guys. You know that. Yeah. That's what we love you. I know, I know. We got court cases to win, buddy. <laughs> Take it. Welcome back to Hamilton Votes 2006. We still don't know who's going to be the mayor of Hamilton. Almost all the polls are in, and it is too close to call. But Eisenberger has just jumped ahead a little bit. I cannot even imagine the anxiety in both Eisenberger and Larry Diani. I hope Fred right beats him. Unbelievable. Jeff, how is your newsroom reacting to this? Well, I wish I had a crystal ball, Laura, because I'm about as confused as anybody else tonight. Obviously, the last numbers that we had is that Eisenberger had a 90 uh, vote lead on Larry Diani with five polls yet to come in. The margin of difference yeah. for Elms is much greater than the difference between Eisenberger and Diani anyway to slice it. That's yeah, really she's my spoiler. Well, you know what? <laughs> we were told today at, at Judy's place mm -hmm. that there were people who didn't vote for Baldessero because they didn't want Deanny to win, so they voted Eisenberg. Yeah. What? That's what we heard today. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's you get Blew that. me away when I heard that. I have rejected Larry Deanny's bid for a second term as mayor. Right on. Fred Eisenberger will be going to the mayor's office, a former councillor involved with the Hamilton Port Authority. He was the big challenger, and now he is the mayor. Congratulate Eisenberger. He's got to show up at City Hall now. And I can show up. I didn't want to watch this at City Hall. I mean, I don't get to swear. I don't get to be me, right? I like to criticize things, people. That's politics. Been on the campaign trail too long. Everybody, everybody says it, like shave the beard off and put on a suit. That's what I said. I, and you say, take me as I am, right? Yeah. yeah. Brother, yeah. Well, I'm I'm I got the right sign. Work for the right guy. Where's the, where's the man? He's coming. He's coming.
campaign. I'll help you with the campaign. Not and for all of Next time you're on, I want to help you with the campaign. All right. I'm not good. I'm I run Fred's. I run we, campaign. Why don't you send me the auto? It's a liberal. If you can. It's not. Well, you never know. Here we go. Not Alderman. Here we go again. Not, we go again. not Alderman. Ooh, no. Thank you, sister. Well, Any time, Larry, and you're quite welcome. Good run, Mike. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Walter. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know what? That's great. 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 Well, I did. I've done well. I so did friend. Oh, I'm glad he's here. And you know, so I can I. talk to him. Like so hugging him is almost as good as hugging you. Mr. Baldassar. Oh, hi, brother. My Excuse name me. is Bruce Hauser. Bruce and it's my absolute Come to City Hall right now. Okay, let's go. Come on. We said that to Fred. It's cool. Finally, I got a mirror night. Thank you.